Welcome back to 25 Days of Christmas with your girl Deanna Diaz. And the answer to the riddle from the last video is address. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next riddle. And I normally don't post these, but here's a goodie for y'all. For those who are new and are just tuning in, uh, like I said, my name is Deanna Diaz, business coach and entrepreneur, aka your business bestie. And this is the lunchtime live for D Nation. Okay. So before I get started, oh, today's. Uh, motivational Monday topic is going to be about passion and purpose. Passion and purpose. So if you see me looking this way, it's because my notes are over here on the screen um, and things like that. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I do not have my microphone plugged in. Okay. So, but coming up next month, January 13th, excuse me, January 13th, I got two days, January 13th and January 14th is the Change Challenge Vision Board Party, okay? January 13th will be in person. If you are in or can get to Pittsburgh, PA, I would love to have you. We're going to have food, games, all types of stuff to en enlighten you. I'm known for throwing an un, not unusual, but untraditional, untraditional vision board party. Um, if you want to know how that goes, you can scroll down on my um, Deanna Diaz uh, Facebook page and see the feedback from that event. That, and it was online at that. And then a couple, few years ago, I had one in person. So to do that, let's see, share screen. Events. Okay. All right, so right here, you can see it right here. If you go on DeannaDiaz.com, click on events. So let's say, okay. Go on DeannaDiaz.com and then more events, or you can just scroll all the way down and you'll see it right here. You can click on it, buy tickets. The in-person is $25. That's your investment, $25. And you do walk away with some materials and things like that. Um, and for the online, you will walk away with some materials and things like that to help you with your 2024 goals and beyond. It's something that you can work with as evergreen, okay? So danadeals.com, events. And then you can click on the event that you would like to attend with me. I would love to have you. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get started with Motivation Mondays, Passion and Purpose. I wish I had like a do do something. <laughs> so I'll have my comments up. So if you if you if you hop on and you say hello or something like that, I'll be able to see them. If not, we're gonna keep on rolling. So yeah. All right, so I got 10, 10 points that I want to hit on, okay? 10 points that I want to hit on. So now, as far as passion and purpose, there, there has to be a reason why we do what we do, right? Or there has to be a reason why we want to do what we do. Like I said on my TikTok, if you're not following me, the real Deanna Diaz, um, it's more than this, just I want a lot of money in a big house. You know, there's, there's definitely purpose and why behind why I want to be an entrepreneur and why I am an entrepreneur. Most importantly, I want to be, the The more time I have is the more time I have for my daughter, all right? I love my daughter. She's five and she is my everything, okay? So um, that's one of my main reasons because the more time I spend on that, the more time it's going to give me back that I can be a mom, all right? So now if you want to take notes, I suggest you go on my website and get you the official D Nation notebook. It has the elastic strap on it. It also has built-in bookmark. Okay, so go ahead and get you um, your D Nation notebook. And this is this is a little, you know, it's not that thick, but this is some quality here. Okay, some quality. Just putting that out there. All right. So now, number one, defining your why. And these are like questions that you want to ask yourself, okay? Defining your why. What is the driving force behind your entrepreneurial journey? I already told you mine, okay? There, there has to be something apart from, even if it's just, I don't want nobody to tell me what to do. 
directly because your customers are going to and clients want to tell you what to do that's a more indirect something that you can work with some people don't want to be told what to do no more some people don't want to be on somebody else's schedule rushed woken woke up and things like that that's some people's driving force and that's okay um, another question on defining your why is how does your personal mission align with your business goals okay we all have what we see as our purpose in life okay and for me that is serving i believe that my ministry is serving so the businesses that i have i'm serving other people in some shape form or fashion and that's what does it for me okay number two passion projects is defining your passion okay have you identified specific projects or aspects of your business that ignite your passion we shouldn't be things in it solely for the money because if you're just going to be in this solely for the money, you might as well go ahead and clock back in or continue to clock into your nine to five. Okay. Um, there's some things that we have to be personally working on um, that really does it for us that like, Oh yes, I can't wait to do this. Like this morning I got up ready to talk to y'all this morning for the lunchtime live like that that fueled me that pumped me up because even if i just reach one person if one person receives any one of these 10 points today deep down inside of me that really like makes me feel amazing okay so that um as far as passion projects how can you infuse passion into the day-to-day -day operations of your venture and I equate that as in every day that you every day that you work your business, it's impossible for you to be motivated. All right. Motivation is something that you have to pull from you. And every day you're just not motivated because you're human. It is what it is. So if you can still hold on to that passion, that means that that passion to me is like a small flame. As long as you can hold on to that small flame. OK. Put that small flame into what you do every single day. <clears throat> At least most days, I feel like you're heading in the right direction. All right. So number three, aligning values with business. How closely do your personal values align with the values of your business? So now you can equate this to what you see in your spouse. Um, what values do they have? Do they value God? Do they value being honest do they value being truthful do they value being clean okay <laughs> um do they do um those values uh, do the values that you want for somebody else are value with the things that resonate inside of you um and also do your personal values does your business reflect those personal values as well okay um and in what ways can you ensure that your business practices reflect your core beliefs OK, so now you can't be on the inside and in your mind and your heart and your spirit and advocate for health when you sell cigarettes or you sell um, vape products. If you have a smoke shop, you know, those things do not um, coincide with each other. Now, number four, inspirations from challenges, inspiration from challenges. How do you find inspiration in the face of challenges or setbacks? How do you find inspiration in the face of challenges and setbacks? So my coping mechanism or my defense mechanism, depending on the situation I'm in, I have to make a joke out of everything. You know that phrase that you hear some people say, Black people don't take anything serious. <laughs> I'm not to say that we don't, but speaking for self, um, I have to find, I have to get a joke out of something for me to be able to process a situation some way, somehow. Um, and that's, that's just me. So that's how I face challenges and it works for me. So you have to find out what works for you when you're facing a setback or a challenge. Okay. And can challenges be reframed as opportunities to align with your passion or purpose. Have you ever been dealing with a situation that is just so, ah, 
you know, that you, you want to give up so bad and just walk away from it because, you know, you feel like it may not be serving you or whatever, but deep down inside, you know that if you get through this, um, you'll either have gained a new skill, gained a new appreciation, or learned your limitations and abilities, okay? I feel like either one of those is a win on your part. Number five, impact on others. How does your business positively impact your community or your target audience? A lot of people, um, even if you don't have a community, you still have a target audience. And if you don't have a target audience, that's something that me and you can talk about so we can get you on the right path. Okay, just go to theentityos.com or drop me a DM and I'll be glad to help you. Okay, um, but yeah, where were we at? Impact on others. Okay. How does your business positively positively impact your community or target audience? Now, positively impacting your community or target audience would have to coincide with your branding, okay? So when people interact with your brand, are they left with a yay? Are they left with a that was cool? Or are they left with a nah, okay? So if... If you're not doing the yay and at least reaching the okay, then I feel like you're on the right path. If you're not, then that's something that you have to work on, okay? Know what's affecting them, how it's affecting them, and how you can fix it, okay? All right, and in what ways can you enhance the positive impact of your entrepreneurial efforts? Um, if you're not, if, if your community or your target audience are not receiving you the way that you would hope. So I would tie that into um, needing to do more research, needed to do more research. Do you know more about your product or service? Do you need to know more about your product or service so that you can present it properly so you can present it in a way that people can receive it? Are you studying your customers and your clients? Um, or do you know what they like and what they don't like so that, um, you can make a greater impact and get better results and better feedback, okay? And speaking of feedback, I had did a video on getting customer feedback and how to use it so you can win. I'll drop the link to that video in the comments below. I didn't even know that was going to happen. This is totally live and unscripted, okay? <laughs> so number six, sustaining motivation. Back to that M word because it's Monday, Motivation Monday. So how do you stay motivated and connected to your passion over the long term? I know with me, if I'm going to be transparent, if I do the same thing over and over for um, an extensive amount of time, I'm personally kind of not going to want to do it anymore. Um, so I had got my cosmetology license in 2009 and I was working in spas and salons. I really enjoy working in spas so much so that I was going to start working for Carnival on the cruise ship. Um, but that was a different story on why that didn't happen. But um, yeah, so in the, in the beauty world, I just... I just got tired of it. I got tired of it a little bit. And then I got so mad because I had to pay money to go to the school. <laughs> I had to pay money to go to the school. This is something that I kind of really wanted it, wanted to do. I think more so I wanted to be legal while I practice it. I think that's probably the main reason why I went to school. But um, I wasn't connected to it anymore. So, But the thing I am connected to, if you know me, that... I do custom press on nails. And that's something that I really enjoy doing. Out of all the things in the cosmetology field, I still enjoy doing press on nails. And I find the passion in that. And I continue to do that. Okay. Now, are there specific rituals or practices that help you maintain your enthusiasm? So I guess this will have to go with your, what kind of routine that you get yourself into, whether it's a mental routine, a physical routine, things like that. What helps you um, keep that enthusiasm there? All right. Number seven, passion is a business driver. How does passion contribute to the success and growth of your business? 
So this is something that you would have to dig deep for. This is a nice little dig deep question, and you can write that down in your D Nation notebook so that you can ponder, reflect, and answer that question, okay? Um, can, can your business without a passion core sustain long-term success? For me, that would be a no. That, that's a that's a no-brainer, all right? So now number eight, balancing passion and pragmatism. So I know what pragmatism means, but I'm going to look it up to see. I, I have a hard time explaining it. So let me look that up. Definition. So pragmatism, it is an approach. Oh, here we go. Philosophical tradition that views language and thought as tools for prediction, problem solving, and action. So let's go back. All right. So balancing passion and solving problems in a philosophical way. <laughs> How do you strike a balance between pursuing your passion and making pragmatic business decisions? Something that you can ask yourself. Go ahead and break that down. Um, and can passion sometimes cloud judgment or does it enhance decision making? So these are dig deep questions, okay? Write that down, ponder, and think about it. Passion and team dynamics. So if you have a team or if you're working with your family, your spouse, your kids, um, this is something that you would want to discuss with your team. Think about your team when you're answering these questions. So how does passion influence the dynamics with your team? I know for me, for those who know or are about to find out, I have been in the Army Reserves going on 18 years now. I hate saying that out loud. I don't know why. But going on 18 years, I've been in the Army Reserves. And, you know, when you move up in rank, you got people under you, all right? And it's just what I've noticed about me is that the more <clears throat> enthusiastic, the more compassion that I have about the task that we have to perform, it flows down on those under me and those around me. Because we, me and my, my counterparts, people are that of the same rank or managerial status, we are able to come together and make it happen. Now, the people under us, they see us, that we're ready to do this, we're ready to do that, let's get on it, let's do it. And then it, it helps motivate them to do the same thing as well. So I feel like if you have that passion as a leader, then that'll run off some way, somehow. At least they'll act like it, right? At least they'll act like they have that passion and get it done with you. All right. Can share passion contribute to a more cohesive and motivated team? Absolutely. Like I just discussed. OK. All right. And the last one for today is evolving passion. So how has your passion for entrepreneurship evolved over time? And I would like to answer that. So as far as me and my business concern is concerned, my passion for entrepreneurship has definitely evolved over time. And I contribute that as to me wanting to learn more about everything business. Um, it's impossible for you to learn everything, but it doesn't hurt trying to learn everything. OK, um, just knowing the ins and out, the intricacies, especially when it comes to like finances and taxes, because that does make a difference. When you get behind the finance of things, you'll figure out whether you're running an expensive hobby or you're actually running a business. I was actually, I actually had to restructure and break down how I ran my press on nail business because at first, it was it was more like a hobby because I didn't want to give it up. And then once I started getting the customers, things like that. One of my biggest customers lives in Texas. Shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. <laughs> one of my biggest customers lives in Texas. And I try my best to maintain that relationship with her. And, of course, all my other customers, too. Um, but just just learning how to better structure that. Um definitely helped me involved as an entrepreneur because, you know, entrepreneurship is kind of cookie cutter. Some things are a little different, uh, but once you learn the foundation of certain things, 
then you can carry that on. And getting a solid foundation definitely helped me do a lot with that. All right. Um, and the last question, as far as evolving passion, are there any new aspects of your business or industry that has sparked fresh passion? I feel like as far as I'm concerned, every time I see a highlight of somebody in their business, or if I see even new techno new technologies to help you run your business, all right, whether it be accounting software or graphic design software, like, you know, I've always used Adobe, the Adobe suite, Adobe Express, things like that, Premiere Pro, that's some, that's just stuff that I've always used. And then Canva, Canva's always been on the market, but Canva really upped it, you know, took it up a notch. And now Adobe's trying to catch up with Canva. And the crazy part is I have subscription with both of them and they make it easier for me to develop and create content, learn more, learn what I should be putting out for it to be perceived all that extra good stuff. So when technology, and I love technology, okay? So when technology ups its game to help me do what I do, that makes me want to do what I do even more and even better. So that's just me. Okay. So once again, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. Even if it's just a replay, I really appreciate it. Um, it's been about 20 minutes. I don't want to take up all you guys' lunch or your time. If you're just tuning in, make sure that you check out DeannaDiaz.com. Um, make sure that you check me out on YouTube. Just search for Deanna Diaz or YouTube.com backslash at Deanna Diaz and I'll pop up. Make sure you subscribe and all the other stuff. And I am now at 205 subscribers. Yay! I just want to share that with you all real quick. Let's go ahead and look at YouTube. Let's go ahead and look at YouTube. I knew that video was going to pop up. All right. Bam. Here's my YouTube, y'all. Oh, 204. Excuse me. 204 subscribers. I'm so excited. Make sure y'all check out my latest videos. I got the latest boss talk. I know people were asking about that. I got some more coming up. Um, here is the feedback video that I was talking about. Um, and yeah, so if you guys just let me know what you're thinking about, what you want me to put out, and I will see if that aligns with how I want to do things and I will get that done for y'all. So other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the lunchtime live motivation Monday, which girl the end of the year's business coach and entrepreneur. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I have. I am very happy to hear from you all. I love hearing from you all. Talk with you all. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Keep the joy in your heart. Keep that fire burning. And I will see y'all next time live next Monday for the lunchtime live. Bye.